I recently posted a video here on my YouTube channel showing one of the new features that came with the DJI Fly app on version 1.22. That video was about the attitude indicator that's in the bottom left corner of the DJI Fly app. And when I first went out to film, there were no winds at all. And as I was out there flying and filming and setting the camera up, winds kicked up like you wouldn't believe, which was a great way for me to show you how that indicator worked in that bottom left corner. Now, after reading through all the comments in that video, I realized a lot of you have not been able to update your DJI Fly app yet to the new version 1.2.2 which means a lot of you Android users weren't able to easily update, and so now you don't have the attitude indicator, the new compass, and a few other features that came with that version 1.2.2 version of the Fly app. So I made this short video so that you can join all the other iPhone users that already have these new features. Although you can't get this update through the Android store at the time of making this video, it is still pretty easy to get. Make sure if you're using the Mini 2, you do go ahead and update your Mini 2 to version 0 .01, 0 .02, 0.01, That way you can fully enjoy all the new features and all the new things that are coming with the updates. Features like increased flight stability, fixing abnormal color when taking photos in DNG mode. Did you know there is now zoom available in photo mode on the Mini 2? They've also increased the frame rate to 60 frames a second if filming in 2.7K. The customizable function button on the controller can now be used for a multitude of different presets. The compass is now moved to the map, so it's a little different setup, and I show you briefly how to use that in that video that you got a glimpse of earlier. You can, you can click that card when you don't this video, but check it out. And of course, the attitude indicator. Now if you missed that video where I was showing you how to use that, it's a fun video and it shows how crazy good this drone does in extreme conditions. I've done a lot of videos showcasing the Mavic Mini at really high altitudes, over 12,000, 13,000 feet above sea level, not to mention in crazy high winds. Woo! Woo we got it. A lot of the wind here. Beautiful that is. And even a few videos on gorgeous sunny days that are really, really cool. Now, if you are new to the channel, first of all, hello, and thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you find it helpful. My name is Sean Oz, and this is the World of Oz, where I show you how to use drones, 360 cameras, action cameras, up here in the Rocky Mountains, and hopefully along the way, you guys can pick up a thing or two and apply that towards using it for yourself. And now let's jump right into what you came here for. If you are running an Android phone and you have not seen an update yet and you're not running the 1.2.2 version of the Fly app, what you need to do is go to DJI.com and then in the upper right corner of DJI.com, there's a little tab called Downloads. Make sure you click that. In the top download section, you should see the DJI Fly app. If you click that, it will then bring you to a page that says App Store version 1.22 or for the Android 1.22. With most Androids, you should be able to just take your camera, point it at that QR code on that screen, and that will then direct you where you need to go to install the newest version of the Fly app. After doing that, make sure you restart your Fly app and go out and update your Mini 2 or Air 2 and make sure everything is running the newest firmware. And that's it! You should be able to see the attitude indicator and if you don't know how to use it, do make sure to watch that video that I linked earlier. If you missed that card, check the description below and I go over the basics of how the home point and the blue dots and the blue arrow all signify different things and how you can click on it to turn it from that into the attitude indicator and back and forth to the map and all kinds of stuff like that. If this video was helpful, and you'd like to help support the channel in return, then make sure to check out my new Etsy store down in the description below where you can grab some drone skull stickers, Yeti snowboarding stickers, all kinds of custom stickers, t-shirts, and other merch that I'm drawing myself. And I have so much coming soon. Drone eyeballs for your drones. I'm working on a whole series of those that you'll be able to just 
buy, cut out, stick them on your drone and be good to go. There's also shirts and other merch. And if you do get any of those things to help support the channel, make sure you tag me at Sean Oz right there on Instagram and Twitter. And last but not least, if you guys do enjoy my videos, make sure you scroll through my video list, find one that you like and share it. Share it somewhere because sharing is caring. And every share, every like, every comment helps the channel grow and helps me to be able to make more content fun or helpful for you. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So if you do enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification so that you don't miss it when I upload new videos.